What's up, y'all? Y'all know who it is. Y'all know what it is. Your boy JP comes here with another how to. Today, we have a 1995 Chevy pickup truck, and I'm going to show you how to take this den and a half and install a double den unit. If this is your first time tuning into the channel, please consider subscribing because this is the type of stuff that we do here car audio tutorials, radio removals, QAs, all that good stuff. Uh, without further ado, first thing we want to do is actually uh, take the dash off. So, we're going to put the key, put this to its lowest position. And you know, you literally just have to, yours might not be that loose, your clips might be a little bit tighter, you might have to drop the steering column a tad bit, but that's, take this down, it's only held in by clips. There we go. Go ahead and take this harness out. Hold on real quick. All right, so I went ahead and took that harness out. now. All right, so now that we got that piece off and out of here, uh, we can actually put that back in park and turn that off, because it's annoying. And with this, uh, you just want to pull the tabs, push the tabs down, and then that radio slides out just like that. <clears throat> All right, so now that we got that harness out, we got that radio right there. I don't think you actually have to do any cutting to this cavity, but you do have to do some cutting to that dash, and I'm gonna show you what you need to do right now. All right, y'all, so the dash kit that we're using is the 953003B. Don't worry about it, I'll put all the links in the description, but it's gonna come with these two parts and another kit, so, I mean, another part. It's only three pieces, and we're gonna talk about these first two. These are the tabs that you need to slide and click. Uh, right there. So what you want to do is you want to take the right one, put it on the right, take the left one, put it on the left, use the screws that came with the deck to screw it in. It's pretty simple. You may have to go up and down uh, with these just to make sure that you have it in the right holes, but then you always want to test fit it just to make sure that you have everything going good and it goes back and snaps in place how it's supposed to. Just like that. So, now that we know that we got that sized right, we wanna go ahead and head over here to our dash kit. All right, y'all, so now we're back at the dash, and what you wanna do is use this piece. It has two, uh, four clips on each side, and what you wanna do is you come in, and you just wanna snap it into place. All right, so that thing snaps into place like that, and then it shows you what needs to be cut in order for your uh, dash kit. <clears throat> To work properly now this part right here we're just going to go ahead and cut that all the way but then you also want to come up here and do some trimming because you do have to come up to that edge right there in order for your double den to fit properly so let's go ahead and get to cutting now i could go ahead and mark these but i got a pretty steady hand so i'm just going to keep that dash kit on and try not to uh and try not to cut it Should be able to snap that back into place. And then now we have our double den opening. And let's go ahead and get back into the car. All right, y'all, so we are back in the car. We have everything wired up. Now, if this is your first time here, you're probably thinking, why didn't I go over the wiring? Well, here at this channel, I like to keep everything short and sweet and have over 170 different radio removal and CD player install videos. So, spending an extra five to 10 minutes explaining what these wires do 
does not make these videos short sweet straight to the point but what i have done is i have made one video explaining all the wiring uh, connections how to wire up a cd player uh, that link will be in the description and there will be cards in the corner so for the people who know how to wire up a radio you get what you need in the radio removal and then you can take it from there for the people who don't know you have a second resource and i know some people say well every car is different yes every car and truck is different but that's different wiring coming from the factory when you get the harness these wires match up with these wire colors so as long as you know what this is you should be good for the most part now let's go ahead and get this thing pushed back in here and let's see what it looks like when it's all said and done all right y'all that's what it looks like when it's all said and done if you guys found any type of value in this video man don't forget to hit that like button subscribe share comment all that good stuff till next time this is your boy jp signing out